Hi everyone, on this week's episode we're going to continue on with our bag series and see if we can boil some water. So after the air in a bag episode, a lot of you guys asked if I could try water. I think a lot of people were curious to know whether the water would boil from the heat of the resin. Now I think that's a great idea and I think we should do two experiments. One where I take the bag and fill it with maybe just a quarter of water and then I'm going to take another bag and fill it completely. Now before I go getting any water ready, the first thing I need to do is pull myself a couple of base layers for the bags to sit on. It's now time to add some water to my baggie, and I'm going to do that by using this syringe. I'm also going to add some blue food colouring to make it easier to see. I did see a few comments on the bag of air episode that may have suggested that I didn't close the bag properly. Well don't worry, I'm making sure of it this time. It's now time to glue the bag to the base layer and I'm going to do that with some UV resin. Now that my UV resin's all cured, I'm going to mix up some epoxy resin to pour over the top. Well it's now time to put this in the pressure pot and watch it on pot cam. But before I do, I want you to pause this video and let me know your predictions.
Well, it's been around 40 minutes and it's time to release the pressure. Now I'm going to dump this out as fast as I can. And I've got to admit, I'm a little nervous about this one. really don't know what to expect. Wow, that's so cool. It's really hot. Can you hear it popping? Sounds like it's going to explode, actually. There's definitely less water in there now than when we took it out. It looks like it's all turning to steam and coming out of the fracture. So we just had a look at the pot cam footage, and that was quite a good one. I can't wait to see what a full bag does. We're around the 40 minute mark, let's dump the air.
Well, it looks like we got a similar result to the small bag of water. Hopefully the pot can was just as good. I think I want to give this one more go. Except this time, I won't release the pressure. I'll let the resin fully cure. And that way we can see if we can fully trap the water inside. So after checking that last pot cam, it looks like the bag split right before the 40 minute mark. Now I really don't want that happening again, so I think I might try something a little different. I've got some Orbeez left over from last week's episode. I reckon we give that a go. And what do you reckon's going to happen with this? Do you reckon the Orbeez will stay fat or do you reckon they're going to shrink? Slippery little suckers. I'll try and go for different colours. I got four in there, but I think I'll go one more. That looks pretty good. Let's seal it up. This one will be interesting. I think for something different, I'm going to glue the bag in upright. It's been in the pot now for three days, so let's take a look. So the first thing you'll notice, there's no fracture. Now that's because I left it to cure for three days, which means the resin was fully cured when I released the pressure. Now as for the Orbeez, they still look nice and full, so I think I might go put this in the sun and see if we can get some liquid out of them. Check out how cool this bag looks in the sun. So I've had this out in the sun for a few days and it looks like only one of my balls have shrunk. The purple one on the side here. You can see it moving around inside of there. But I think what's happening is, as the balls are shrinking, they're just soaking the moisture back up again. And it's like a never ending circle. I do like it though. It's like a little bag of lollies. Well, that's it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. But before I go, I want you guys to let me know which one was your favourite. One, two or three. And check out number two. We managed to trap a whole heap of water inside.